Hello everybody and welcome back. I am KRX and we're continuing on with this EU4 playthrough as Denmark. We are playing with the Lions of the North DLC. And all we've really done so far is we've taken over Gotland, which is good, which is good. We're working on expanding the military, so we need a force limit, a maximum force limit in order to do that. And we're trying to... Norway in the Kalmar Union happens. We don't know what's going to happen when this event happens. But that being said, Liberty Desire less than 20 and Norway's opinion 150. We should get close to doing this. Uh, Sweden, however, uh, it says Sweden's opinion 150 and Liberty Desire less than 10. That is going to be tricky. That's going to be tricky. But we should be able to get Norway uh, into that sweet zone soon. Uh, Sweden's a little angry with us. Sweden's a little angry with us. We are working on buttering them up. We should be able to get them much, much higher. We should be able to get them much higher, but I just realized actually taking one of their cores is actually getting them a little little upset. Um, a lot of what we're going to be doing, I think, is going to be kind of diplomatic for a bit. Just trying to wait the amount of time it's going to require to get these guys buttered up. So that's kind of what we're doing at the moment, I guess. Uh, we could make this into a state, and I don't think there's any reason not to state this, to be honest. It's a core of ours, so... Uh, but we've taken over Gotland, so that was that was mission. Retake Gotland was mission number one. We've also rivaled England, and in order to do this next one for that component, it's going to be country has a flagship, um, have a fleet equal or larger than England's. Okay, this is going to be a little bit down the road, a little bit down the road. We are going to be there eventually, but but I think we're going to probably be integrating Norway before that happens. Um, potentially, I don't know, we might be, we definitely, there's some opportunity, I think, to use Norway to actually go into, like, the Scotland area, we could actually even tell Norway, hey, we're interested in this stuff, so Norway, if you want to get some, if you want to get some claims on this stuff, go ahead, Norway, and we can maybe take that on your behalf, um, we're thinking about who's going to be our ally, and I think Poland would be, would be the obvious choice, we're, uh, we're just kind of not there yet, they have too many diplomatic relations, so they're not willing to do any of this stuff for us. They don't want our military access. Um, that's right, with the favor system now, you want alliances to be able to get things from people. Oh, man. Man, I want an alliance with po Poland. Ironically, no, yeah, Austria would be harder. The Pope also has too many diplomatic relations. Fif minus 52, minus 56. What's the uh, Danish? Uh, that doesn't like our army strength. We are improving that. We are improving that. Distance between borders, though, is the reason they don't want to ally us here. I think we're we're not maxed with the Papal State, but it's unlikely we'd be able to boost that much more. Yo, uh, Poland, you realize we love you, right? We love you. You should love us. Same with you, Pope. And Austria. You know what? What the heck? France, we like you too. Oh, no, we can't do this quite yet. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Well, I guess for now... Let's get let's get Wolgast as an ally just to have an alliance, to be working that angle. And then let's let's keep working on, on Norway here. Wolgast will probably set us a, a request for royal marriage. We'll accept that when they do. We have the claim against Lubeck. That's part of a mission. We have a permanent claim against Lubeck. Um, that being said, we can't really just attack into them because they're in the HRE. They're powerful trade league, all kinds, all kinds of stuff there. Sweden is no longer angry with us. And because we got that royal marriage, we now have an heir. Oh, no, sorry. No, a queen. 333 three, three, queen. Okay. Well, that's something, I guess. Sweden, are you still angry with us? No, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. And as these other troops get made, that should bolster things a touch. Uh, we probably should be drilling with these troops, I imagine. Let's get everybody grouped up here and drilling. How are we doing with the e e economics of this? We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Do we have three advisors? Or do we have to, no, we have all three, and we're still making two ducats a month. I'm liking this. I, we have the galley. We needed 12 galleys to do expand the military. We needed 12 galleys for this. The thing is, 
this actually lets us start going into like Estonia and stuff, which is interesting. But the thing is, I really would like to get, tr I'd rather have light ships, to be honest. The galleys are only going to be, the galleys aren't going to be that useful. No one in the Baltic here is going to be, is going to be problematic at all. Oh yeah, that's right. Galleys are okay off the coasts now, right? What do they do? They get a 50% bonus off coasts. Any coastland, they get 50% bonus. So galleys, I think, are just a little bit better, especially when you consider the bang for the buck, right? So galleys aren't the worst thing in the world over here, but against England, it's, against the heavies of England, it still won't, won't matter much. Um, Norway actually starts with some heavies, which is interesting too. I think they have like three heavies at the get-go. They have a mission to build up to five, I think. Um, so yeah, the army, army, how are we looking on the army strength here? We need three more to, to finish out the army. We have the money to do this, actually. I still have that fort in our capital, don't we? Yeah, we decided not to get rid of that. And monetarily, we're making enough money that it's like, that's probably okay. That's probably okay. We're gonna have to wait about a year, and then we'll be able to get our uh, force limit up to, to be able to complete this, which could set us onto a path to go this direction, but, um... Really, I'm just thinking this extra force limit would help us get alliances more easily. Oh, Poland loves us. Here we go. Booyah. We showed Poland some love, and they showed us some love. Let's go. Let's go, Poland. As long as you don't change your mind in the next three seconds, that'll be, that'll be great. I think we're pretty much good on five out of six here. We do have room for one more. I don't know what would be a tactical option. Um... Munich, Cyprus, uh, some of these are Milan. Some of these are too far away for us to really care. I think Portugal. Well, you know what? Spare no expense. Let's get some uh, admin points here. I would like to get this. Yeah. So we no longer need to butter up with Poland at all. We're just totally Gucci on Poland completely. You know, honestly, the Pope. The Pope. I still think that's worthwhile. So we're only uh, 19 points away from being able to hit this button to see what happens with the Norway in the Kalmar Union event means. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping this actually somehow helps us with Sweden somehow. But either way, what it does is it gets us down to this mission to integrate Holstein, which we can't actually do. Oh, we need to be buttering up Holstein. Okay, okay, okay. You know, there's really kind of not that... Please tell me we're drilling. Please tell me I remembered it. No, we did not drill. I'm such a doofus. Forgot to drill. When it says over here that Sweden has... Vasa leads the rebellion. This has to be some kind of modifier for Sweden. Or they have some kind of internal hero. A Swedish hero of sorts that's leading some kind of rebellion. Um, against the, the Danish crown, right? Um, and I don't know if we've given it enough time if that kind of falls off or disappears. It doesn't seem to be decaying, but I'm wondering if this is an actual character that can that can die or something, like an advisor of theirs that can, that can pass away or something. I'm not sure. Relative power is going down, though. Yeah. And we're still going to be buttering them up. We can go up to plus 200 on improved relations, can't we? Is there a subject? So yeah, they'll easily be all the way up to 200. That'll make a big difference. Norway's almost there. Once Norway's done, we're gonna we're gonna work on Holstein, and then we just need to make sure that Holstein's up to, to 150 or 190 or whatever it is to integrate them. In fact, actually, wait, do we not? We don't even have a royal marriage with these peeps. That's that's an easy fix there. But, but again, we got all the time in the world because we can't annex them until 10 years have passed since the start of the game in this case, so 1454. And I hate to say it, but we're kind of just big chilling. We're kind of just big chilling. We can afford these, so let's get... Um, let's get these guys going. That will let us complete this will give us an admiral with 15 tradition, and it'll give us the claims on the Estonia, Livonia area. We are one tick away from getting this done, so I'm curious to see exactly what kind of bonuses that might give us. It's not going to just integrate Norway, unfortunately, because that doesn't come till way down here. And I don't think we instantly ever get to integrate Norway. I think it will be, we'll have to do it the manually. Here we go. 
The Crown of Norway. Tell me all about the Crown of Norway. Set the Crown of Nor Norway equal to our own crown. Equal crowns until no Norway is no longer under a personal union with us, giving the following effects. National attack modifier minus 10%. Nobility influence plus ten. That's not great. We want to. There's there's something down here to curtail the the nobility, uh, revoke the privilege, of of the no nobility and, and to curtail them a bit. Um, Norway gets. So Norway gets all these insane uh, modifiers, including minus ten liberty desire. I'm assuming one of these options is going to uh, is going to increase their liberty desire quite a bit. Norway's really not one that we have to be that concerned with, though, to be honest. So that just gives Norway... Uh, that gives Norway literally two ducats a month in income. That is insane. <clears throat> That'll embolden them, even though it'll give us a minus 10. Right now, they're at... Uh, yeah, looks like 40 minus... Historical friends with... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that historical friend... Keep the status quo. Okay. Or here we go... Remove Norway as a historical friend. Add Norway as a historical rival. Remove Denmark as a horse or add as a historical rival. Holy cow. Manpower recovery speed 50%. National sailors 25%. National goods produced 20%. Nobility influence minus 15. Ooh, I like that minus 15 influence for the nobility. So let's, let's take a look at this here. Nobility influence lower than 40 land owned by the crown at least 50 loyalty is equal to or higher than their influence and then you can hit this uh, the nobility will no longer make any kind of demands nobility will no longer raise any any uh, rebels when their land it gets seized uh, if their loyalty drops below 30 that's kind of nice um but this is the thing. If we can do this, we actually get plus 20 absolute, uh, absolutism, uh, which is quite nice. Legitimacy of 100, that should be achievable. It develop. So honestly, we just we want to do this before it's the age of absolutism because that's when this mission apparently radically changes the requirements. The requirements is fairly easy. We just got to keep the nobility low. And, I, and really, we only have to keep the nobility low until we hit this, right? So minus uh, four, less than 40 influence. I am such a doofus. Is there something in here that will reduce? Oh, this is giving us this plus two diplomatic relations, by the way. I kept lo I was looking for that last episode where this was coming from. Minus 10. This plus this. You know, I honestly, I'm tempted to do this. I don't know what the historical rival system is. Is what that's is. Is Sweden considered a historical rival? Is that is that what part of what this is coming from? It doesn't it doesn't mean historical rival historical rival. You know what? What the heck? Let's hit the button. Let's see what happens. What, what could possibly go wrong? Whoa! Plus 50%? Does that tick? Does that decay down by chance? Yikes. Yikes. So we got to go back to buttering them up a bit. Quite a bit, actually, it looks like. Um, what were we... We were working, well, we we're working on Norway. Hmm. The Papal State, I think, unfortunately, you're just done, though. I don't, I don't think the Papal State is coming around here. Actually, you know what? The Papal State might come around. Expand the military. I think we just hit that button while we have the chance before force limits expand and such. Gives us a new admiral. I wonder if that admiral's any better for 
uh, protecting trip. Wowzers, 4431. That's a fantastic admiral, no doubt. Um, yeah, I'm a little concerned about Norway here. 50% is no joke. No, wait a second, wait a second. What we could do is we could support the Loyalists. That's going to be a small amount of ducats per month. That's going to cut them down. Okay, cool. And then over time, we can work on, on buttering them further. And potentially, with that further buttering, I don't think we're going to get there. I think we're going to be just short on this. 51 they're at 99 we can get them to 125 but it's not going to be enough to make them go green here unfortunately that's where i guess giving them like a gift or something would would make the difference but yeah unfortunately we're just barely shy there wait a second humiliating wait a second humiliate their rivals Wait a second, wait a second. If we, in, if we insult Provence, if we do a scornful insult on Provence. Okay, okay. Provence is not even one one that's long for this world, to be honest. That was, that was almost too easy. Okay, we got the Pope. So we got the Pope, and we got Poland, and we got Wargast, because why not? Now let's make sure we spend the next five years buttering these guys up so that we can... We should have had that royal marriage from the get-go. That was a huge tactical mistake. Do we have the royal marriage with... Yeah, we do have it with... Uh, we have it with everybody that we can. Um, 13th here. We can get this diplomat positioned here permanently. That is happening in Sweden. We're not too worried about that but we'll walk over here we'll take care of your rebels for you sweden that'll that'll get us on your good side yeah that'll get us on your good side we need to be the ones to take care of this though before sweden comes over here and takes care of it no 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 sweden let us let us help you're welcome sweden <laughs> Defended our provinces. Good, good. It's something, right? It's something. Sweden's all about that. In fact, Sweden's almost getting to a point. Sweden is almost getting to a point. You know, I just realized we could cheese this down. This liberty desire less than 10. I think we could just develop their land down. I mean, that, that'd be expensive, but I think it would be possible. I think it would be possible. And we'll have to... I, I can't remember some of the other ways that we're going to be able to get that dip down. It'd be cool if we got an event or something that we could make some of these decisions and choices and stuff. So we are paying... How much are we paying for, like, what would it be, like, diplomatic expenses? Yeah, here it is. Yeah, we're supporting the loyalists of Norway. Uh, our loyalists... Danish loyalists in Norway and, and Sweden, I think. I think is what's going on here. Okay, Athens apparently disputed. So Athens actually popping off a little bit as Byzantium is getting chewed away at. The Renaissance is kicking off. Ooh, way up there. A one single... You know, Finland, I think you'll be able to take care of that one, man. Don't you think? Big rebellion in, in Lubeck, actually. And winning, it looks like. Lubeckian particulists seem to be... Rigor rigorous researchers, thank you. Some extra points there. That'll get us this before uh, before uh, Renaissance kicks in. We don't want to get those in the... Plus 15%. Plus 15 well, this isn't ticking anymore? Wait, national ideas cost plus 15% more for countries that have not embraced Renaissance. Oh, 
Oh no, to get the next to get the next one. Okay, so the way they've made the institutions now is they're tied in with the technologies. The, the, these technologies are always free to get, and then if you don't have a Renaissance, the next one is going to cost us a you know there's the a ahead of time penalty too, but having embraced Renaissance of fifteen percent, yeah, they've 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 smoothed this out a little bit. I mean, I kind of it works either which way. The nobility cannot be bought. I do like admin. Admin is good. Some ducats right now could be nice too. What did we just unlock? Did we just unlock churches? Can we build some churches at this point now? Yes, we can. So ducats would be well invested, I imagine. And we don't, I don't think we care too much. What we could do is we could do this. Oh, wait. Ooh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Minus 15. So if we curtail the nobility in the next step, we'll be able to get that other thing done. I'm going to do this. That'll pump everybody up there. And then I'm going to do this to get everybody down. And then at this point, well, what do we got here? Base manpower. Where, where did we talk about here? So what's the manpower to be? Okay, we could pump this a couple times. I'm trying to get our military tech up, but... This is an easy one to do. It would, it would literally just cost us 100, 100 military and it would be done. Make them happy and then we could do this and then that would make them upset. Uh, the burgers want us to, to have more trade, but that's going to take too much effort. Building a church in this province would be fairly easy and it would give us a free base tax here, which would be something we don't have to pay for. This does look like a good place to build a church. If I click on this, yeah, point two, th that, that, that's good. That's good. I think, you know, the nobility is just going to be pissed at us. It's just how it goes. That looks like one of the best places to build a church, actually. So nobility being upset with us, they have le less influence, right? So that's good. Uh, the equilibrium is still at 49. In fact, it's a little higher than their actual influence, which is nice. A um, little bit of national unrest doesn't really matter too much. A little bit more uh, land maintenance modifier. That does kind of, I don't want to say stings, but but it, it, it's making this cost quite a bit, quite a bit more, quite a bit more. We're still doing good economically. It's still, it's still kind of good, good enough, I guess. To get the idea group, we need one more admin tech. And if we don't have Renaissance, it's going to cost us a 15% penalty on that. Minus 5% maybe if we wait for a neighbor bonus, a 10% penalty. Don't love it. I don't love it. But we might probably, we'll probably end up getting admin tech 5 before Renaissance. Because Renaissance is going to take its sweet time to get up here, I imagine. Started Rome, actually. We are friends with Rome. I don't know if we'll be able to leverage that in one way or another. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. We're getting a little bit of spread here. This, of course, it'll only take us 30 years. Only 30 years. I wonder if uh, Rome will, uh, the Papal State will uh, help us out in any way with that. I think that's why it's spreading as fast as it is, but I'm just wondering if, if there's anything here we can do. See, we need them to offer knowledge sharing to us. We need that. We need them. I, I don't know if there's a way to request it. And I'm not sure what the conditions are for them to be able to offer it to us, but we got to pay attention in case they do. Okay, what's going on over here? Well, we could make the nobility a little bit happier with us, right? Because they just got a little bit of a, they got kicked down. This will wear out in 15 years. yard i don't really care about the production here i think it would be better to pump taxes um base tax i think this is good this is all kinds of good they, they gain some influence but they're going to be happy again so we kind of just got rid of that just right away that 10 percent's going away the five percent is going to go away from from the the diet that's been summoned diet diet whatever it is um Minus 10 prosperity. Defended. What is that? I think when this, I think if this all shakes out, 
I think we'll be able to, with curtailing the nobility here, which I think is, ah, man, there's probably some other cool stuff here, but, but I think we are going to need, we're going to need to do this. Compromise with the nobility. Because I think, I don't know, these benefits, this absolutism that you get from Danish absolutism just sounds really good. Cool thing is this is plus 20% maximum absolutism. Well, guess what? The Danes already get plus 10% here. This is a plus 30% for this nation alone. That's really cool. Wait a second. I just realized something. Holy cow, I just realized something. We get something up here, don't we? Danish subject loyalty minus 30 liberty desire in subjects. That is huge. We could develop, control, own a large city. 20 dev. 20 dev. We have two, de two provinces that are 20 dev. Level, level two or higher. Can we up, can we up, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Doesn't that lower liberty desire to upgrade trade ports? Only have four. Oh, you can't do these as you don't own. I thought maybe that was a way to potentially boost. Um, we own one here. That's one. We own one here. That's two. We can boost those. And then uh, we're not going to own these ones that are by ourselves. Is this, wait, is this one down here? Is this one down here? That's four without even conquering anything, right? Yeah, that's Holstein. That's four without even conquering anything. Ooh, ooh, permanent claims on this province over here in Estonia. Hmm. Lithuania is eventually going to become part of uh, Poland, potentially, right? So that'll be Riga, the Teutonic Order. I mean, we could definitely start to look at a, a potential attack into uh, the Livonian Order in, into Estonia um, to, to take care of that. But I'm just realizing that so so getting getting three of these wouldn't be that hard. Although we don't really need to, we don't have to start a golden age. Getting getting a large city, getting a 30 development city though, what that would do is that would at least get us um, more splendor accumulation per month, right? Yeah, three per month. So in order to get to the next 600. If we're getting three per month, that's 200 months. It's going to be like 20 years. But eventually, when we hit this button, if we do, if we choose to go there, I don't see any reason not to hit this one with Sweden acting up. Um, some of these other ones are good, but I don't, oh, I don't know. I do like these other ones, but... Yeah. Corruption, huh? We'll be losing, we'll be losing money while we're rooting this out. That should just kind of just go away, though, right? We'll be changing by 0 0.47 per year. So one year that's going to be gone, we'll be back up to making, making actual money. Things are actually going pretty good here. Nothing's really happened, I guess, but... Sweden is almost to the point where we don't even have to support loyalists. That's how, like... Except for the fact that we need them to be at 10% to hit to hit this metric. And we do realize that when we had that, there was an option to keep them, right? There was there was an option where we could give them, we lose money and we support them further in their independent and they, they become more like, but then the other option was to curtail the nobility more. I don't know. We don't know exactly what it's, if it's gonna shake out exactly the way the Norway did or or not, we're not sure. Because there's no way we could make Nor uh, Sweden a historical rival. That would just s catastrophically launch them, you know, launch them way, way up in terms of their uh, disloyalty. Although we are thinking about potentially, right, when we get this, it'll be 10%. This will be 15%. 25 total percent. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this might not really even be that critical. This might not be that critical. But in 20 years, I think, in 20 years, that's... That's 12 times uh, 20, 440, wait, 100, 200, sorry, 240, well, I'll be the Ducas here, 480, something like that. Um, 
times three, it, it, whatever. About I, I, we'll get this. We'll get this within within a chunk of time that isn't that isn't. You know, we'll get this pretty soon. I mean, most most countries aren't even going to start. In fact, actually, we just went up to twenty one here. We could really get this up. We could really get this up. And it certainly would help with the Renaissance. How much would we get per per click here? 3.66%. A lot of dev. Don't think there's really any reason to push Renaissance right now, though. I do want to get this uh, admin 5. I want to get admin 5. But everything else isn't really that blocked by by renaissance there's no reason to push it but but it's just a matter of whether or not we want to push this well here's the thing by the time by the time we click this button we'll probably have this activated because this will push us down low enough to to, to have that come up and i'm kind of actually hoping that by then we'll actually already have the curtail the nobility we'll already have um, we'll already have this revoke the privilege taken care of. That's going to be our goal, I think. We know 15% of this is going gonna, is gonna to shave off. Well, 10, it's saying 10% there. Oh, well, actually, there's multiple summons there. 10, 20. Well, I'll be 20% less here is going to bring it down to 38. So that's good enough. That's good enough. Aristocratic counselors. Where's that coming from? Eh, it doesn't matter. Although it is say, actually, it is saying, yeah, plus 15% nobility influence there. Is there anything, actually, are there policies that you can add that just straight up reduce the influence here? No, it doesn't look like all this is stuff, positive, affirmative stuff. But just removing, I believe just removing land, continually removing land from them uh, should, should. Wait a second, wait a second. Does it say we need more land owned by the crown at least 46%? Oh, because this is 46%. So it's just it's just saying we need as much land. We need to overtake. We need to have more land than the nobility. Okay, okay. That might actually take a few clicks. That might take a few clicks. Guys, thanks everybody for being here. I think that's episode two. Um, not too much has happened here, but you know, it's E4. Things move at a slow pace. So we like to play at a slow pace. So we like to just work through things and, and check things out at, at a nice... I don't know. Guys, thanks everybody for being here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Playlist link down below will help get you to the next episode because YouTube can be weird about not recommending things in order sometimes and such. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.